Hey guys, long time no talk. I actually have these glasses because I ordered glasses on before Thanksgiving and they lost my glasses or they never produced the glasses. I called them online and they never produced the glasses. So GameStop right now, and yes, this is from today, um, has a buy one, get one free from all Pokemon, all Yu-Gi-Oh, all Final Fantasy, which I will show you. I purchased about Probably, I took my whole team, so we wanted to get a team building exercise, and that was going to GameStop. A lot of my team members, they do have kids, so I was able to buy Christmas gifts for their kids. If you follow my other channel, uh, my marketing channel, you'll know that I'm pretty much on vacation. And yeah, pretty much on vacation. We work really hard 11 months of the year. And then we go on vacation for one month of the year, which is still being paid. So I am just going to go over each of these. I don't know what's really in them. You can see uh, Pokemon packs. Here's five. I'm going to try to build stacks. I know you cannot see it. Uh, Dominaria is the only booster packs they really had. And so lots of Dominaria. Uh, so Pokemon, there was a lot of really different Pokemon packs. And it's buy one, get one free, which comes out to be about $2 a booster pack. Uh, Texas tax is very high, but uh, even with the tax, um, oh, here's some core set. And here is another Dominaria and some more Pokemon. I know you can't see it here, but eventually it will be stacked um, so high that you will be able to see it. So we went to uh, five game stops before you guys say, oh, did you buy everything? You, no, we left. Um, I left all the commander stuff because I felt like that would be casual stuff. And in my opinion, oh, there's like ketchup on this one. Okay, cool. All right, I mean, it is game stuff. Um, oh, here is some um, Ravnica. I will give you a tour of my store. Now, a lot of you might ask, if you own a store, why did you buy this stuff from GameStop? Why did you buy probably $800, $900 from GameStop. I also bought another $1,000 of stuff from Best Buy, which if you don't know, is also having a really good sale. But that stuff is like, some of it has come, some of it has been wrong. Uh, they sent me a printer instead of my Plus, but like, I don't know if my Plus are going to get here, so I didn't send back the printer because I don't know if they misordered. Um, but I'm pretty sure I did not order a printer. So there we go. Here is some Dominaria, some Core, and some Rivals of Ixlon. Okay, I don't even remember Rivals of Ixlon. We're going to just pile them uh, up really, really high. All right. Uh, Lost Thunder is the newest Pokemon pack, so there's plenty of Lost Thunder. This is not a good idea. Um, Okay, mm, it's not a good idea. More Lost Thunder is the most recent one. One of these stores, like each GameStop is so different from each other. Um, I, it's hard for me to explain why they're different, but they carry different items and different, it's like the same, but you never know what GameStop will carry what item. I was hoping to find uh, more valuable items like I found commander decks, I found a lot of commander decks, so it's $41. And $41 means you can buy two commander decks for that price, or $20 a piece, which is a really, really good deal. All right, so that was just one store, I believe, was, I'm probably gonna lower it because I wanna, you guys to see it, and I know that you cannot see it, so. Okay, there we go. Yeah, uh, back to why... Oh, now you can't see me. All right, whatever. Uh, back to why uh, I would be interested in this would be uh, very clear because these packs... Oh, here's Rivals of Ixlon. I, that is probably not the best investment I could have made, but all right. Um, some more packs. Uh, the reason is I buy these from my quote distributor for $250 for a Pokemon pack and $2 for a Magic pack. Now that does include tax, 
but so the magic packs actually are slightly more expensive tax in texas i think is like eight point like two five percent or something pretty tax in texas is a lot oh here are ixlons all right i think that does it for this one receipt um so that is probably one receipt now i will i will say i did get two tapu leles these are 50 bucks a piece at $25. It's not bad. Tapu Lele itself used to be um, 50 bucks by itself. So that's definitely a good buy. So yes, the quality of this video is going to be even more uh, trashy than other videos, mainly because I want to get through this video as quickly as possible. Uh, four of these. These are the Dragon Ma Majesty. Majesty? Okay. So let's go and see what else we've got. Oh, this is a very good deal. Uh, if you can find these, these are battle bonds for 25 bucks. Uh, so $12.50 and you get six of them. Now I have heard from the grapevine, I haven't done this myself, my friend actually went, so the sale uh, continues until Christmas. So you will have opportunity to Restock, I bought one of these just because it matched the price, $24.99, $24.99, meaning it's buy one, get one free. So you can match a Pokemon with Magic, with Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I bought a ton from Best Buy. Actually, probably more from Best Buy than I'm gonna show you today. And they don't allow you to uh, match, I guess. All right, so more Pokemon cards. Um, I think this is a pile that was kind of damaged. Some Dominaria again. Put it here. Oh, I guess I'll put it in like different piles. So I know which came from which bag. Some more Pokemon cards. Lost Thunder, Celestial Storm. The two most recent sets, which makes a lot of sense because... Oh, this pack is damaged. I probably should just open this right now. Huh. I think the pack is okay, but definitely the corners are not... Uh, took a beating. So, yeah, but it's, I mean, buy one, get one free. Like, what can I complain about? Dominaria is a very good set, I think, long-term. And, quote, uh, it will be okay for your store to collect a lot of Dominaria. Lost Thunder is not a very powerful magic set, as I'm, I am mixing the cards now. But that's okay. I assume that the employees gave me what I wanted in terms, there was another Dominaria. So yeah, this one was not packaged as well, clearly. Here is a another Lost Thunder. Uh, Dominaria again. Buy one, get one free. Like what I'm telling you is I as a store with my connections cannot get a better deal on Pokemon booster packs than buying it from GameStop at this moment in time. On Magic booster packs, I get a, the same deal it's like the same deal. It's not like, oh, okay, it's slightly better. So I don't, uh, that, the $2 includes tax. The $2 here does not include tax, but, and they are a newer set, so that's always nice. So maybe I get, I should have not bought magic cards, but like it's really hard not to. Um, it's really hard not to buy magic cards, but for Pokemon cards, I definitely had to buy them all because the deal was just that good. The deal was better than, I can, it's better than you can get from a distributor, essentially. And here's the rest from this pile. So here we go. All right, we've got two more big bags left. Uh, hopefully they are more organized um, and a little more diverse. Here we have just uh, more Pokemon cards. Now, I will comment on what Rudy said about Pokemon cards. I think Rudy bought too many at a bad time. They sell really well for me. Like, there is nothing like Pokemon cards in terms of selling, mainly because the player base is very super casual. And as a super casual player base, they're not always trying to kill you in value. I, I do wish I had more magic and more battle. Actually, you know, I'm glad that I didn't buy so much magic. All right, another bag, um, a bag of bags. Oh, I remember, this was in the mall, okay. So this was, the majority of it should be, or actually, I guess not. 
One magic pack. Some more Pokemon packs. Ooh, wow, Forbidden Light. That is an old one. And yeah, and before you guys like ask, the people in the store are super nice and they want you to buy this. So they're not going to like discourage you from continuing to buy the cards. They're actually really happy when you buy them out. So that is another one. Oh, this is organized really. So yeah, this came from the mall. I know because your organization is far superior. Now Best Buy, maybe I'll make a video on Best Buy. It's a lot more different stuff from Best Buy. I bought tins for $7, the pin collection for I think six, and then stuffed animals for like seven, eight dollars. Actually, I bought a stuffed animal for eight dollars, but instead of sending me a stuffed animal, they sent me a printer. So I don't really want a printer, and it's not like a great printer, but at the same time, it is a printer. Uh, here's more Dominaria. Lots of Dominaria, actually, now that I look at it. I'm gonna have to go through this, the bags, because I feel like there's so many bags and I might have misplaced, or some booster packs may have fallen out. Ah, here's magic, Dominaria. Oh, I think this whole thing is magic. Yes, this whole thing is Dominaria. Dominaria is a okay set. I think value-wise, people will like it because my selling, the, oh, here we have something a little different. Oh, and these are in sale too. I didn't get too much of this. I left some of the good stuff to, uh, this one has Defry Shaman and this one has Niz Mizzet. These are very good values actually. I think this has Life from the Loam, if I'm correct. If this has Life from the Loam for 20 bucks, I mean, or 10 bucks, I guess. It's a really good deal. All right. And the last thing is uh, more magic. Oh, okay, back to, um, I had no idea they had this. It's called the Selesnia Go Pack. Um, enhance your Selesnia deck with 35 cards from guilds around the country, including at least one rare mythic. These are actually $7.99. I did not know that these were different from a regular booster pack, but apparently they make these uh, guild pack ones. Obviously the best one would be uh, Golgari because it has assassin trophy, but uh, what can you do? I mean, Selesnia is not the worst, I guess. It's probably the worst. And some more booster packs. So, okay, okay. This essentially was 150, well, 160 with tax. I'll do tax. Our tax is very high. Our tax is 8.25. Uh, 211, 160, 211, 164, and 103, and 207. So, less than a thousand, I think. Somebody do the math and leave me a comment. But anyway, you're. GameStop will restock on this. So the sale is from yesterday. I think it was the 12th, from the 12th until the 25th. I talked to all the GameStops. I'm not gonna go ham again, although I may want to. I'm not gonna go ham again to let my local players get this stuff. I didn't get the guild, I only got two guild packs. I left all the commander decks. I left um, a lot of booster packs that I didn't really I want like the core sets, uh, but I was told that they would restock at least one more time before the 25th. Um, so you will have the opportunity to buy to your heart's content. The math is very good. Uh, the math is $2 a pack or $2 a pack with tax or uh, $72 a booster box. Now, assuming that this is the same as a booster pack, which I think this is actually to restore to me this is far superior to a open booster box, uh, mainly because you can sell them and the packaging is better. Plus there's no like, oh, did you weigh your packs? There's a lot of concerns um, that I uh, have as a store when you're selling individual packs because you don't know what your worker is doing. So we took our workers uh, to basically spend the entire day to GameStop, five different GameStops all in the middle of nowhere. 
Uh, we were going to go to two more, but then like our workers wanted to leave early. And I was like, all right, fine, leave early. Um, anyway, I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, my Best Buy purchase is actually even larger than this. Um, it's much larger. I think it is, I'm trying to do math. It's at least, it's a thousand dollars at least more. And I don't know like what they're sending me. They sent me a printer and I didn't order a printer, uh, but they didn't send me my pluses. So I assume the printer got changed for a plus, which is really weird. So I'm, I don't want to do the Best Buy review until next week, until I have received the majority of my order. Um, I'm also getting an order from Google. Um, it didn't cost me any money. It is a Google Christmas present, and I'll show you that if you're interested with the Best Buy order. I'm getting a order. I got an order from Petco, um, a huge order from Petco for Norman's uh, Christmas. You know, Norman is like my dog, not the person. Uh, we do have a developer. His name is Norman. We do have a dog, and yes, the dog is named after the developer, um, not the other way around, clearly. And then uh, my glasses, my new glasses. Uh, so I'm waiting on probably, I'll show you how crazy it is. I'm waiting on maybe 200 different shipments. Um, anyway, that's it guys. I'm going to upload this as soon as I can because the deal was real. And a store, best case scenario for a store is they buy a box at $76. Best case scenario. You're buying, and that's no profit. You're buying this at 72, plus you get this really nice little case, which allows you to sell or trade them easier, in my opinion at least, because it's far less likely they've been searched. Uh, the same with Pokemon. Uh, I paid 250, and that was the lowest price that I thought I would have to pay. Uh, to get these for a two is insane. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, Wait for my Best Buy haul. It is actually more epic. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I think it's over 1,500. And it's a lot of packages uh, and that hasn't come yet. But anyway, bye guys.